Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video because I won a contest and I wanted to say thanks to another channel on here. I am currently putting all the footage together for a pickup video which covers a little over three months. Hopefully that will be done in another day or so. The, this laptop hard drive is small so I have to kind of shuffle things around. Um, also picked up a two-part book talk video which uh, thank you to the five people that have watched that. But those are always fun to do, and I understand books aren't for everyone, but those are also up. I say that because I got a package in today, and I recognize the name, but I wasn't sure why he sent me anything. And then I remembered he had a contest that if you commented, you were entered in. So I went and looked up recent videos and went back quite a bit. I did not see it. I had to look up uh, in my subscriber, search his name, go to his channel. Then I saw uh, he had a drawing, and I won. Not sure why that didn't pop up in my feed, but in any event, I won Bubble Lun's 500 subscribers giveaway. Uh, I think he was right at the, uh, the cusp of it, and it got pushed over to 500. Uh, if you're not aware, first let me show you the goods. It is a Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Limited Edition. I've never played this. Um, if it's in one of the Metal Gear collections, I have had it in the past, just haven't got around to playing it. Metal Gear is one of those series where I always tell myself I'm going to go back and play it from the beginning. Still intend on doing that. I have read good things about Peace Walker, though. I came with a little book, soundtrack CD, and of course, the game. What makes this especially sweet is that he's had two contests and I've won both of them. If you need a reminder of my past glory, boom. This is Cheyenne's Revenge. See the note on the back, congratulations. You're a winner. I'm a winner twice over now. I will challenge anyone to go subscribe to his channel so when he does a future giveaway, you can try to top him. He puts a bunch of names in a hat, shuffles it around. Two for two, people. I'm unstoppable so far. So yeah, I would invite everyone to go subscribe to his channel. Not only is it a lot of fun, he has great pickups, talks a lot about uh, PS1 titles. He got me back into collecting PS1 in a big way when I first subscribed to him, probably a few years now. Really nice guy. Uh, we'll get back to you very fast in the comments. But also to see what other goodies he offers up in the future that will be mine. So yes, I will leave a link to his channel. Thanks again, Bubbleon. Really appreciate it. I'm keeping this. I might frame it. I just might. Just leave it here forever. Let the world know. And I would also like to say a big thank you to Senkai from Accent on Games. He helped me with this. This is Trails in the Sky FC Evolution. Is that, is that how it goes? Or is uh, FC Evolution. I'm saying that. This is the Japanese copy. Well, recently, um, some intrepid localizers went through the process of integrating exceeds PC translation into this version, which has a bunch of extra material. Uh, this comes with DLC, uh, revamped scenes. Now, when you go to the instructions on how to install this, it seems very simple. They say, just use this tool, extract the files, patch them, put them back. Problem one, my PS Vita is 3.65 firmware. Uh, Hinkaku is how you go through this process, requires 3.6. Fortunately, my PS TV was 3.6. However, once you do that, you then have to install a few other programs just to get the dumping tool to work. It was a laborious process. For whatever reason, the game extracted fine the first go around. Then I remembered I hadn't updated it to 1.2. I updated it, and after that, I could not extract it. I was It was driving me nuts. Contacted Senkai, who had told me before... He'd help out because he's the one that tipped everyone off to this on Facebook. And he very patient. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I've got it to work. I put about an hour into it. So now I'm playing this on my PS Vita uh, TV in the living room whenever I can get the time when my wife's not watching stuff. And so far, so good. Uh, really enjoying it. I've had this for the PSP for a while, but that system just destroys my hands. And on the plus side, I can now install emulators and stuff. I can never really gel with those a lot of times. I'm not sure what it is. I just need the right setting to, to get into a game. 
but I will definitely tinker around with that and have a lot of fun. Well, that is all. A short one for now. Like I said, I have a book, two book talk videos up, and I'll be putting a pickup video shortly. Thanks again to Bubblelun, and thanks again to Senkai uh, at Accent on Games. Links for both will be below. I will talk to everyone later.